Hello Libra, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Oh, I have some sticker. <laughs> okay. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Libra, what do we have for you? What do we have for Libra, please? Libra. Okay. So, Libra, we are connecting in this reading here for you with someone who wants to surprise you. They are planning something here in order to bring some sort of new energy. Okay, but I'm getting that it is something uh, very positive. Uh, this person is thinking about you, they want to come across in a certain way um, and they are planning some sort of surprise. Their actions will surprise you, but in a positive way. On your side, we have disconnected. For some of you, I'm getting quite strongly that you might have withdraw your energy or you've decided to distance yourself emotionally from that situation, like taking a step back in order to rethink or evaluate this whole matter. Because obviously with this energy, something wasn't particularly working for you. And I see you in this energy of um, of 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 yeah, I feel that you're trying to not to think about this individual, Libra. It's like you might be distracting yourself with work for some of you. We'll check your tarot. But um, in general, I'm seeing you uh, trying to distance yourself emotionally from that situation. And it might be a case that you indeed made that decision to withdraw your energy or to stop giving into this, this situation. Overall energy, we have listen. I feel very strongly that this is more they energy here, Libra. This is someone who wants to hear, to, to, who wants to be here out. They have something to say, and they want you to listen to them in a sense of what they are, what they want to kind of communicate to you. Okay, so it's like I feel this person really wants you to give them a chance to explain maybe themselves to you. Mm -hmm. Overall energy, we have stability. I feel that this whole issue that might be presented through this oracle cards uh, has a very core with regards to stability regarding this connection. Therefore, what I mean by this, I feel that um, something indeed um, for some times, for some time, might felt like it's unstable there there was a lack of clarity it's like you didn't know what to expect from this person what they truly want from you and um and it feels here that this stability it's like i feel that it was your goal to have a stable relationship with this person and it might still be I feel that deep inside you might be willing to give this give this person a chance to kind of you know to explain themselves listen to your intuition libra because it's it's spot on here about the situation and it might be a case that you, the deep inside you might feel that this person is coming that at some point they will send you a message or they will call you or they will reach out in any shape or form in order to have this conversation mm-hmm they are planning this they are planning surprise they want to surprise you in a positive way and this is someone who wants stability when it comes to the situation let's see let's take a look could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards the brand disconnection please Queen of Wands, 
Four of Wands, the Sun. You might be dealing with Leo. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Libra and this connection? Knight of Wands. Okay. Your energy, Libra. Justice. And we have two of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have a five of wands. Mm -hmm. So you might be dealing with another Libra, okay? And we have Leo so far in this reading for you. When the queen of wands in their energy in the first position suggests here that this person might have this... Uh, it's like they got distracted and they started to um, direct their focus here on someone else because a third party, um, Queen of Wands represents third party. Mm -hmm. I see them be being very inconsistent. And actually, I can perfect, perfectly understand why you might have made the decision to kind of, you know, distance yourself from that situation. Because this person, it's, it's in this... Knight of Wands energy, someone who's been very in and out, hot and cold, very indecisive and quite inconsistent. When they are attracted, when they are focused, when, when they are really interested, yes, they will give 110%, they will make you feel really great, but the dynamics that Knight of Wands is bringing to the situation is that that they can be unpredictable. This is a little bit of an unpredictable energy in a sense of you don't know what you can expect next next day regarding this person's uh, actions, you know. It wouldn't surprise me, for instance, that for some time this person was in touch, they give you, uh, you know, you were most probably here involved on a rom rom romantic level with them, but at some point, it was like overnight, this person just completely changed direction and you might uh, kind of uh, haven't heard from them for some time. It's like they disappear, essentially, metaphorically saying. Mm. Very, inconsistent, very inconsistent, indecisive energy. We have a four of wands and we have the sun. Well, this is the thing. This person now is realizing that you make them very happy with the sun. Four of Wands, they might see you as their twin flame or they see you as their soulmate. Uh, but this is someone here who wants uh, to be closer to you, who wants to be in a relationship with you. Four of Wands. They have feelings, strong feelings for you with the sun. You make them very, very happy. Then we have Justice, your energy. And two of wands. This person here, it's planning. It's planning how to come forward. Let's not forget that Knight of Wands is also a card that can, represents action. This is someone here who wants to take action, who wants to reach out. But with the justice, it feels very strongly that they know that they need to balance things out with you, that, that they need to give you um, some sort of explanation regarding this third party energy for some of you indeed there were that someone else got in the picture and and you know this person start, uh, kind of a uh, most probably they started to um direct their focus on 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 another person or they got involved here with someone else because of the position of this queen of wands but let's not forget that queen of wands as a third party can represent for instance, uh, certain matters that at the time this person, this person really prioritized over this connection. So this third party can indicate that this person uh, prioritized career, personal life, uh, professional life, excuse me, uh, money, um, their close related environment, relatives, uh, family members, um, colleagues, friendship habits and lifestyle or lifestyle so please take it how it resonates but yes this person it with the with an energy of the sun and the knight of wands 
there is this element of surprise that is showing up here. So we can expect here, Libra, that this person is going to surprise you. And um, it feels very strongly that the situation, respective of this person's inconsistency, and you might see them even as a player, it will be handled here with, with fairness and justice. At the moment, they are planning how to approach you, and they will. They will. Overall energy, we have a five of wands. This is someone who created drama, and this is someone who created tension between the two of you. It's like they know that they are reason why you might have withdraw the, you, why you might have withdraw your energy. And uh, obviously, they are not happy about it. And it's like, but it, this person knows that. They know that they know that they made a mistake here, that they should have not um, uh, created that sort of uh, uncomfortable environment regarding this connection represented by the five of wands. Because there is this suggestion that this person created some sort of obstacles, issues and problems. Let's see your energy. Let's see, could you please show me Libra's energy towards this connection and this person? Could you please show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? So we have the world, seven of swords, two of cups, uh, five of pentacles. Show me Libra's energy towards this person and, and, and this connection. Show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please. Judgment. And high precious. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands here suggests, Libra, that you don't trust this person. You have your guard up. Uh, this is someone who um, created obstacles and issues in this connection. And it's like with the Nine of Wands, it is like I've been there, I've seen it, I've experienced it. I, I'm not quite sure if I can trust this person once again. You have your guard up. You, uh, you are, you, you're setting very, very strong and healthy boundaries which is only understandable, absolutely. So Libra, you might be dealing with Pisces, okay? I also have very strong Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. I feel quite strongly here, Libra, with the world that you've tried to move on. Move on from that situation. It's like this, this cycle's been closed, it's done. Um, I want to focus here on something else. But um, there is something here that, it, it, and I'm going to be honest what they're showing me, um, but there is something still there that it doesn't, I feel, let you fully kind of release this person or forget about the situation. And, um, and what I am getting here is feelings. I feel that you do have feelings for this person with the Two of Cups. This Two of Cups, which represents relationship, connection, love, However, yes, it is, it is this card is surrounded by quite, um, let's say, um, challenging energy. Seven of Swords suggests that this person was sneaky, was two-faced. Um, they were holding secrets. They were not fully transparent and they lied. And Five of Pentacles, and because of their actions represented by the Seven of Swords to the Two of Cups to this, to this relationship, uh, I feel that ultimately this person made you feel left out in the cold, uh, lonely, and for some of you might even kind of felt that they rejected you or you felt not good enough for this person. They made you feel that way. However, I feel very strongly with the Five of Pentacles and the Judgment. I'm getting here that um, you do miss this person. That momentarily you might be quite nostalgic and you might be remin reminiscing about this connection. Uh, with the Judgment, 
it, you know, judgment here shows that subconsciously it might be a case for a lot of you that you would like to have that reconciliation, you know. You would like this person to come forward and kind of maybe explain themselves and seeing them wanting and kind of putting an effort in order to find a positive resolution to this whole situation. And look, this is what I was getting with regards to your energy, Libra. Listen to your intuition and look what we have. We have the card of intuition. Excuse me. Hi, Precious. So it's like a double confirmation. I feel very strongly that you deeply inside know something. You have this, you know, inner voice that it's telling you that this person is coming, that something big here will happen in a sense of they will reach out. I feel that you are very in tune with your own intuition. You might be receiving downloads from the universe. It wouldn't surprise me, Libra, if you, for instance, uh, hear a song or this person's name, or again, song or film uh, that reminds you of them. Maybe you see repeated numbers. Uh, yeah, I feel that deep inside you know, you are very intuitive, very, very spiritual, very intuitive person. That's what I am getting. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels very strongly that that's what's going to happen, you know. I, I feel this is something here about forgiveness, how this person treated this connection and automatically you, you know, and it's hard. I feel it's hard. It's hard to forget and it might be even hard to forgive. But... Um, I'm getting here that for a lot of you, you just want, you, you would like this person to come forward. You would like them to reach out. And uh, for some of you, maybe for closure. But for a lot of you, I'm getting here that love is still there. Love is still there. Nevertheless, I don't feel that you fully trust this person. Mm. So let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome, Libra. Show me the outcome for this connection, please. We have the moon. Six of Swords. There might be a physical distance between the two of you with the Six of Swords, Libra. And we have King of Swords, interesting. Ace of Wands is an overall energy. S yeah. Uh, new energy is coming with regards to this situation. Something new here will happen. And it will involve you, both of you. This connection. Because we have an Ace of Wands. An Ace of Wands in this case is... Someone here. And it's this person. It's going to essentially surprise you. They will reach out. They will be very creative. This is someone here who will have so many kind of a... I feel this person will really insist to have a conversation with you and even to meet up to talk about the situation. But um, this is also a card that represents a new beginning. There, is, there will be an opportunity and possibility for some sort of form of new beginning here regarding this connection. And it will happen very, very soon. Very soon. Within a week. You might be dealing with Pisces. So we have the moon, six of swords and king of swords. Yeah. Um, king of swords suggests that there will be this communication, honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation will take place. And it's like, it feels very strongly that this person knows with the moon they might have doubts at the moment regarding the whole situation that's why they are planning uh, because uh, they are unsure about your reaction but the moon with the six of swords it's like um something that was lacking clarity something that brought this instability and suspicion to this whole situation uh, will be kind of resolved and understood 
because six of swords here suggests that it, y this connection and both of you will be able to detach from that uncertainty through uh, by having this very very honest conversation that is showing up here mm -hmm. e essentially something will gain clarity okay so it might be a case libra that you have many questions and you still want this person to provide you with some sort of answers there is something still that you might feel that um, it's like you want to understand but uh, this person indeed wants you to hear them out they want to balance things out with you and i feel that they are willing here to a really kind of a with the moon energy and with the six of swords it's like mm, detached from that energy of uncertainty but but the only uh, way of doing this is to kind of clarify certain things and they are willing to do that with the king of swords and that communication will take place this person will reach out they will reach out to you they will take action and that communication conversation a uh, very constructive conversation with the king of swords uh, will bring will bring so much light to the situation so i see uh i see a big change regarding the situation yeah things will be happening and you can expect that they will be happening very very soon and when this person will reach out it will be a big surprise but i feel that deep inside um, it will bring a personal satisfaction and a bit of happiness that they haven't forgotten about you and they are they really want to talk about this situation libra I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Libra, have a fantastic and absolutely beautiful day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.